Hey there friends and good morning Papa. Welcome to another hunter pet video. In today's video we are going after the fetid devourer. That's right, it is a hydra, but each head is a little bit more specialer than the next. Now getting this hunter pet is actually extremely simple, although it will require you to do a little bit of leg work. So just kind of keep that in mind as we go this way. There's also a right way and a wrong way to do this, and I'm going to show you how I mess it up and how not to mess it up when you come over here to do it. All right, so let's get started. All right, to get started, you want to make your way over here to Zandalar. If you are an Alliance character, you're going to go to Kul Tiras first and take your boat. That'll take you over to Zandalar. Once there, you want to make your way over here to Nazmir, more specifically the triangle thingy right here. Zooming in on the map once there, you are going to be making your way over here to the raid entrance for Old Deer. Once you've made it there, go ahead and set the raid difficulty to whatever you want. I just put it on normal because I'm not after anything fancy here. Just the hunter pet. Now once you make it inside of the raid, go ahead and battle the first boss. And then after that, take the elevator boss all the way down and I will show you where you need to go. Once you're down into the underbelly of everything, you are going to want to come over here because this is where the Hydra is at. So it's up some stairs, you come around this corridor, you go through there and bam, there it is. Is. There's some dialogue where they're like, oh, what is that? You know what? It's majestic and it's beautiful and you don't need to be mean about it. I'm just throwing that out there. It's perfect the way it is. Now where I ended up messing up everything is I came in here and I was like, all right, I'm just going to go ahead and tame it. I did not pay attention to the fact that there are doors that are going to shut. Now I've never done this raid before, so this was all new to me. So when you tame it, that activates the boss and when that activates, the door is shut and then you're stuck in here because this doesn't count as defeating the boss. So what I ended up having to do is there is some blood pools that are in. Now I could have used a hearthstone and I know there's other ways to get out of this instance without having to die, you know, like queuing for something else and then dropping a group. I know there's a lot of different ways to do this, but I'm, I didn't want to hearth. I didn't want to do that. So the, if you don't want to do any of that stuff either, there is going to be some blood pools that end up showing up. Just go ahead and stand in it for a while. And eventually your character will kill over. This ended up taking me about six minutes for this to end up finishing me off. So while this is happening, let me go ahead and just read you the stats for this majestic guy. And then I'll end up showing you how to do this without getting stuck in here. Like... I did. Now the Faded Devourer, like I said, is a raid boss. Its tamed specialization is tenacity. Its tamed abilities are bite, acid bite, growl, and dash, and its diet is meat, fish, raw meat, and raw fish. Okay, like I said, this is gonna take forever, so let's skip a bit, shall we? Now once, if you ended up getting stuck and you chose to go this path, don't just respawn in and run back over there. No, the door's still gonna be shut. So what you're going to end up having to do is you're going to have to run out of the instance and reset it and then go back in. So keep that in mind. It's if you mess this up, it's just going to be a lot of inconveniences and a lot of sighing because I sighed a lot while I was doing this. Like, oh, really? <sighs> Fine. But anywho, now that you are back here, the key to doing this is when you walk into this room to tame this guy, what you want to do is try to tame him as close to the door as possible because there is a bit of a delay once that you have initiated with him. So what you can do is you can tame him business as usual, nothing special is required, but then after you tame him, go ahead and do your disengage and back yourself back up out of that door, it'll shut. And then the door is going to stay permanently locked. In order to get that unlocked, you are going to have to head out of the raid and reset it and then come back in here and the door will open. Originally, this hunter pet was not tameable, so I'm kind of thinking that's why it's such a headache in order to come in here and tame him now with the War Within expansion, because that's when he is became available. So I'm kind of just thinking that it's wasn't meant to happen, but it is now, and it kind of just breaks a few things, but they're easy fixes. Just a lot of size are involved. Let's go ahead and take a gander at the ability. So you have the basic attack bite, which is a 25 focus, five yard range instant with a three second cooldown. Bite the enemy causing 15,991 damage, deals 100% more damage and costs 100% more focus. 
when your pet has 50 or more focus. Next, you have the special ability Acid Bite. This is a melee range instant with a six second cooldown. The Hydra bites the target with corrosive venom, causing the mortal wounds effect. Mortal wounds grievously wounds the target, reducing the effectiveness of any healing received for 10 seconds. Next, you have the Tenacity Passive Endurance Training. You and your pet gain 5% increased maximum health. Next, you have Fortitude of the Bear. This is a Tenacity Ability Instant with a 2 minute cooldown. Increase the maximum health of you and your pet by 20% for 10 seconds and instantly heals you for that amount. And there you have it, the location and the way you are able to tame this hunter pet without having any further issues or whatnot. I know it's not the easiest of things to go out and do, but you know, sometimes it is what it is. These hunter pets, like I said earlier, were not meant to be tamed originally. I kind of wish Blizzard, if they put in something, you were given the ability just to tame it. I mean, if it has a stats card, you should be able to tame it. But you know, as I've discovered, you come across a lot of hunter pets that have stat cards with the words, not tameable, but it is what it is. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving it a like. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make hunter pet videos every week and I would love to have you here as part of this amazing community. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. And I look forward to bringing you the next hunter pet video. Bye for now.